over the years I've seen various attempts to make my work into a two-hour movie and I can tell you on the basis of what I have seen that it's flat impossible to do that. You couldn't come up with anything in two hours that would approach the uh, complexity of that story. And so it was a great relief to me when we got the opportunity to do a 16-episode television series. I was thinking, well, at least there'll be room, you know. But, uh, you know, I knew Ron Moore had a great reputation as a storyteller and, uh, and a filmmaker. But he and his uh, producing partner, Merrill, took the trouble to come out to my house in Scottsdale and spend two days with me talking through characters and storylines and backstories and, you know, things that I might not have put into the book but which would be helpful to them and sharing with me their own ideas for adaptation and explaining to me how it worked. You know, the most important thing in adaptation is that a book can have its own internal shape, and all of mine do have very distinct geometric shapes inside them, which most people are not aware of, but I am. And uh, the thing is, a television show has to be divided into one-hour episodes, each of which has to have a satisfying dramatic arc. So you go from a book that's shaped like this into 16 little arcs that are shaped like this. And to do that, uh, you will occasionally move a scene from its original place in the book to a slightly different place, forward or back, or you will flex it slightly, or you will combine two scenes so that you maintain the essence of both but it performs a different function in making that little episodic arc. I told him, I said, this is the first script based on my work that I've seen that did not make me either turn white or burst into flame. <laughs> so, and I knew that if his idea of storytelling was based on character we were in good hands because those are, are very strong unique characters and you can't get near them without uh, realizing who and what they are.